Greetings all, Mujin here, playing some more Star Wars Night to the Old Republic 2. I believe we're almost done here with Narkidal. Just have to, uh, I think, talk to the, um... Over here, maybe. Olga Kili, but my Yanois. I do not have the Goto here, but rest assured, he will trouble you no more. Chichis Kabula, Tapicha Yubon, Yunbula. Dobra kinun chuba grat wikili joni, wichi bolo no, chichi skabuya, tapicha yubon, yun bola, chopiti man ponjame, sashange bedwana mulela, chupa wanga kuna konticha, chuna kuna sa, wata grito gji mulira, ni chudanka nao, says a way to get through but I'm not seeing it. Uba Boska Dwana. Can you help transport a family with the thing? You know I see what my Gyu Mali de Baga Kintune Titoki Gorcha Torkyokas. What his name is? Hey, Ran, whatever. She's in the right. Taracho Mosincho Cava Volpa Muliji, Gumana Minta, Barawamba, Michedos. I don't think he's happen. Ha happy words. You have need for pilots. Kawana Bota, Yunta Tanga, Kinamatura, Tayaita, Tabosan Hansata. A refugee, Otis, will work for you. For your sponsorship. Gavadumpa Munsuru Kupla Liyawa. Bo Bagaragawanda Yaitua Ulwanji Yuma. Let's 
so um one of them I gotta go back for I think. Just gotta remember where the refugee thing is and over here. G sector, right on the other side. Okay, makes sense. Little blur effect, though. This doesn't translate too well today. Spreading out. Now you have reason to cheer. Thank you so much for returning my Adana to me. Dovrekun mili wosa slima po wanga samoana nuta. Please God. Thank you so much for curing me. Hmm. Thanks for taking care of Sakwesh. I fear what the exchange might do next, though. Anything else I can help you with? You've already helped us greatly. Life should start improving for us. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I don't need to do anything. Oh wait, that was back where I was. Herp -a derp I misread that. My bad. No, back the way I came. Cause I am so smart. SMRT. Right past him when I was done visiting that Jedi. Aida, I didn't think I'd ever find you. I can't believe you're here before me. The destruction of Telos? I can't even tell you what happened after, being shuttled from system to system barely one planet ahead of the Sith fleet. Shh. We can talk about it later. You have my thanks, stranger. I can only hope you have as much luck at what you're looking for. Okay. 
So thanks in the Cerium Glade I was able to help. It's strange you came by when you did. I was right at the edge of deciding whether to give up, turning it over in my mind. And suddenly you walked through the door and gave me the answer I needed to hear. Well, yeah, and the hope is what gives you strength. I'll remember that. Thanks again, stranger. Why did... Why would he have... Never mind. Why would he have... <laughs> Uh, okay. You just happen to have a short saber for me. Okay. Maybe, I guess. Maybe you just thought it was some tube. Never turned it on. I think we can leave this planet now. Did we get an update? Probably save once it gets on the ship, but yeah. from Hilda, what is it? Got a message for Kvar. We should return to the Mandalorian camp as soon as possible. Iridonian, if I might have a moment. What is it, Goto? spent some time in the presence of your remote, and the upgrades you have performed on him are quite adequate. I am impressed with your work, though less so with your remote itself. What's wrong with my remote? I find his use of resources, energy spent on frivolous things, to be an unsightly waste. But it is obvious you have some skill, however slight, in the upgrading of machines. I want you to provide me with similar upgrades. I should be able to do something. I will see what I can do next time I have a free moment. So he, um, insults him and then asks for upgrades. Okay. Perfect sense to me. Okay, I think I have what I need. Repair. Initialize, join, train. 
Diagnostic. HK-47 activated. Running checks through primary systems. Assessment. It appears I have suffered considerable damage and dismemberment. I can feel all the cracks in my motivators. And my central control cluster seems to have taken several repeated blaster shots at close range. How crude. Are you in the storage hall? Answer. I do not know, Master. It is curious that I was here, although this place does seem familiar. <laughs> Extrapolation. Perhaps someone was already in the process of rebuilding me. It may be I was needed for some task. Are you okay? Answer. If by okay, you mean the loss of almost all my existing assassination protocols, then no. I am not okay. Furthermore, I seem to have no discretionary control over my vocabulator, causing me to reveal my true function as an assassin droid of unrivaled sophistication. Any idea what happened here? Answer. It seems you would know more than I. My memory centers are experiencing some setbacks. Reflection. Of course, for some reason, that does not alarm me. I suspect I have suffered such repeated memory failures before. Still, the loss of my higher combat and assassination protocols is shameful and degrading. It look a lot like the series of droids that have attacked me. Answer. Oh, that is impossible, Master. If I were out to kill you, we would not be speaking. And regardless, I am a unique model. Why, to think that there would be other versions of me would be unacceptable. Well, there are at least uh, four others now uh, defunct versions of you in the galaxy. Statement. Master, I must inform you that your attempts at humor are wasted on a droid such as I. As I have expressed, I am unique. Actually, there's a series of HK-50 units sharing your model and function that we have encountered on multiple occasions. Resignation. Very well, Master. If you persist in your attempts at humor, I shall indulge you. Let me check the ship's records, and we will settle this matter once and for all. Conclusion. You speak the truth. This discovery is also causing me some degree of anger and humiliation. Right. Mockery. Am I all right? Oh, yes, master. Why, I am fine. Statement. I mean, I've only just been reactivated, only to find that there are substandard duplicates of me running all over the galaxy, corroding my good name. But if they are, in fact, hunting you, then I look forward to the opportunity to meet these units and educate them in proper assassination protocols. Conclusion. So it seems I need you, for the time being. You're an assassination droid. Recitation. Yes, as I said, I am an assassin droid. It is my primary function to burn holes through meat bags that you wish removed from the galaxy. Master, oh how I hate that term. What? Me Answer. No, Master. Uh, I said it again. <laughs> I love this trade. <sighs> well, get used Answer. to it. Answer. Yes, Master. Are you ready to serve me, Droid? Answer. Yes, Master. HK-47 is ready to serve. Look at that. Now we 
get a druid. Oh, hey. Uh, can I ask you something? Maybe. What is it? Something wrong? Your face. You, well, you have this glow. I mean, not a real glow, but it's like you're calm. At peace, but, but it's more than that. You haven't been chewing on spice, have you? Sounds tasty. No one has touched with the force, others can feel it. Oh, well, it shows. It's like you're hooked up to a power coupling. It's weird. I mean, not bad weird. It's just weird. <laughs> For a minute there, I thought you and the handmaiden... And, and, but it's just the force. You and the handmaiden what? You know, hooked up a power coupling. You know? <laughs> Some of these responses. Uh, I think we have bigger things to worry about than power couplings. <laughs> Got it. Just checking. Uh, some things I want to ask. Go ahead and ask. Were you raised on our Look, before we get into a game of Guess the Pazak card, pull back on the throttle. I don't know you that well to start sharing our life stories. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. So talk. Can talk. About what? Just wanted to get you know a little better. Why, you trying to be my father? No thanks. Already had one. Somewhere. Come on, I can't be that bad. Give me a chance. Are you sure you're a Jedi? That exile of yours must have gone on longer than I thought. Look, you're way too old for me. Even if I were interested, you couldn't handle me anyway. Way. I mean, you're really good in a fight, and you've got those intense eyes. And it's obvious you take care of your body, but I really don't have the luxury of getting attached to you. Besides, you already have your little entourage. I don't want to be a part of the pack, you know? What are you talking about? Look, if we start sharing a bunk, the other girls would get upset and then I'd have to kick the hell out of them to show them who's the pack leader around here. No thanks. You're sweet, old guy. But let's keep it professional. Fine, didn't think you would run away from a challenge. Run away? You're the one who couldn't handle me. I'd kill you. Oh, I can't pursue that. Let's see, can I ask some Go ahead questions? and ask. Uh, let's see. Tell me a little about Hanhar. Hanhar's only a bounty hunter because that's the closest word for what he does. He's not out for credits. It's more vicious than that. And it runs a lot deeper. It's like he's out to make the whole galaxy suffer every living thing in it. He wants to break them, ruin them. And when they can't suffer anymore, he wants them dead. What happened between you? I didn't kill him once. Biggest mistake ever. What do you mean? That's a long story. I don't want to get into it. Mm. Maybe some other time. Eh, I'm not getting anywhere with her right now. Never mind. We'll run along. I'm stuck on something. Let's see, can I? Yes. I am training so that if danger should strike, my body and my reflexes will be prepared. That, and I had forgotten how long hyperspace travel can be. If I do not have something to focus my attention on, I fear my sanity will erode as well. You play Pazak. What do you mean, Pazak? No, 
I do not trust him. Yeah. That is untrue. You and the Iridonian Atris believe. Yes. His skill with machines is something beyond which most can. I do not realize if you know what it means to. His. Okay. Doesn't look like him. Um... I see. Forgive my word. The Mandalorian Wars were like that for many. Nope, oh, not getting anywhere with her. So for some reason. You may. There is nothing. Do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your. You may have. <laughs> Before entering Atris's service, it is not important. As well. We all have value in our oaths to others and the promises we make. When importance is placed on the self, then by such That's some truth in what you say, set your judgment on me. If reasons of the self is why you turned away, then yes, perhaps there was a judgment there, but it was not intended as an attack. I think I lost myself when I disobeyed the chat. I do not know. That is a question you must ask yourself. You may have... Okay. It seems I'm stuck. We attend H. I am. That is not entirely correct. There are times I am. Perhaps once having known the ways of the Jedi, you may understand what. There is much knowledge on Telos, and only one of the Jedi. There is so much about their ways of battle. This is what occupies your thoughts. To the Ichani, battle is a means of communication. It is an art in the truest sense of the word. Stance, form, discipline are a means of expression and communication. They speak hey once Hey all, here. Just to remind you, if you like what you're currently seeing, please subscribe, hit that like button, hit the bell for future notifications, leave a comment and share with your friends. Please enjoy the rest of the show. They speak one's heart and one's devotion to their cause. I agree, choice how far are you willing to go for your goals? It was to the Jedi traitor Malak. It was to the Jedi traitor Revan. When Terrace was destroyed, it showed Malak's heart through its execution and intent. It was brutal, without finesse, but showed his commitment to defeat the Jedi. Yet with Revan, there was the same commitment, but it was a subtle thing, like weaving threads in a tapestry or strokes upon a canvas. He spoke through battle and tactics in a way one could never do in words. He showed his heart at Malachor V, and finally, at the end of the Jedi Civil War. I believe he was speaking to Malak in that final battle, though few knew it.
What do you think Revan was saying? Through battle, Revan was meeting betrayal with betrayal and showing Malak the pain he had inflicted on his master. What stronger display than death for conveying one's sense of being betrayed by one's own student? Revan's anger must have been great indeed. I would have wished to have been there for that final exchange and seen the truth of their conflict with each other. But to say that seems an untruth, based on what I know of the Jedi. She's the not Force wrong. can drive others. But I didn't but have much choice in choice, the matter. Is there not? If there is no choice in the Force, then our teachings and our actions are for nothing. And I refuse to believe that is true. She's not wrong. Um. Let me ask. And there was the dark side. Bull crap again. There was nothing dark in that, but whatever. Uh. Has there been any sign of the ship? No, mistress, nor any word of our sister. We do not know where they travel now. The freighter, it is important. And I thought the droid was as well, but I was wrong. Mistress, we still do not know the significance of the ship or the droid. We downloaded all you asked, but we are still no closer to the answers you seek. Then perhaps we will need to have faith that your sister will change her mind, remember her oath, and return to us with the answers we seek. I hope so, mistress. But there has been no word of her since she departed with the other four on the freighter. Four? Yes, mistress. The Iridonian, the Ichani-trained pilot, the exile, and the old woman. Old woman? Yes, mistress. I do not recall seeing her. Mistress, she was secured for much of the time the exile was here. At other times you were meditating, and we did not wish to disturb you. Mistress, is there something wrong? I am tired. I sometimes feel as if things are collapsing all around us. It is just at the edge of perceptions, waiting. I fear... I fear things will collapse before our enemies reveal themselves. Yes, mistress. I will meditate upon this. Perhaps it will clear my mind. Reading instead of taking some action. Ah, HK-47. I did not realize that you still existed, especially now that the other generations are activated. Query, what is it you wish, Fat One? I see that your recent reassembly has not affected your behavior core, nor your attitude. Statement. If I require a similar diagnostic in the future, I shall seek out the Iridonian. Oh, I do not think so. There is much work that needs to be done first. Statement. My memory core has suffered some damage. Statement. Yet somehow, 
A gap in my circuits makes me feel as if I should remember you. Statement. This is all the more important since during my routine inspection of all potential escape routes from this vessel, I made an interesting discovery. Observation. The Nava computer is voice locked. As a consequence, you are now responsible for course corrections and astrogation. Statement. That is indeed a great burden. It also raises many questions. Query. Why would someone lock the Nava computer? Answer. Presumably to hide where one has been. Statement. I believe this ship has been somewhere. Somewhere you wish to keep him. Yeah, yeah. Made too many statements there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you leave that in the hog. Um. I'll add her. Oh, yeah. Wow, he's full red sound. <laughs> He's kind of gray, so she she's that way. Um, I want HK with me. I have to equip some of these. And they're gonna have to be leveled up. Okay. Um. I don't think that matters too much. These things will probably be uh, changed after the level up, but I don't know yet. Rifle, but I don't have one, do I? We'll go with, we'll go with that for now. Let's make sure. Okay, now everything's opened up. Enough. Should have put her in the dancing outfit. That'd be mean, right? Okay. 
Good enough. Did I put him? I don't remember putting on armor. Eh, good enough. I don't care. Yeah. About time you showed up. Mandalore ordered me to report here and escort you wherever you need to go on Duxon. Let's go to your camp. Follow me then. You received my message then. A man named Kavar wanted to get a hold of you urgently. He said that the Queen had arranged safe passage to Onderon for you, but I don't know how good their offer is anymore. What's changed? This morning, General Vaklu met with the Council of Lords and declared that the Queen was guilty of treason. He'll be made regent if Talia and her royal guard are defeated. The military is divided on who to support. Civil war has fallen on Isis. How can we help the Queen? I doubt that Queen Talia and her advisor will survive until nightfall. The balance of forces seem to favor Queen Talia. The royal palace is heavily fortified and defensible and most of the soldiers are loyal to her. But Vaklu has new allies, Sith soldiers and their masters. The war has also driven the caged beasts in the streets mad. Braylor and I both concur. She doesn't stand a chance. You underestimate the Force, Mandalorian. I sense that we may still get to Master Kavar in time. I sense there is something stirring on the moon itself. Tell me, have your senses picked up anything from Duxon? Yes. Yes, we have. How... We picked up some transmissions from nearby in the jungle. We only have our shuttle sensors, so we know nothing more than that. Those transmissions are the enemy. They are linked to the fate of Onderon. They must be stopped. Otherwise, the Mandalorian is right. Master Kavar and Queen Talia won't survive this day. Dividing our forces at a time like this is foolhardy. And this is why a common soldier will never triumph against a Jedi. Your military tactics are nothing compared to the Force. It is essential and inevitable that we face both enemies at the same time. Awareness, huh? I have to lead the group heading to the Royal Panelist, don't I? You... you are correct. You must choose who will lead the expedition through the jungle to find our enemies and defeat them. Um, do the head, maiden. I will do what you ask of me. You should send two others to go with the leader. Who else will accompany the expedition? Um, if you say so. And who else? And this one. Very well. Now, are you certain of your choices? Yes. Mandalorian warriors will go with you to find the enemy camp. Just let me know when you want to head out. If you need supplies, talk with Kex. After you get into the jungle, you might not have another opportunity to stock up. Let me know if you want to go now. That's good. As you wish. Mandalore has arranged for special transportation to get to Isis. Oh, special. Finally, we're close to our objective. I sent the rest of my men to secure the trail behind us. My troops will keep the path to the Mandalorian camp clear. Ahead lies the enemy. I can follow you a little bit further, but then I will set up command and control for my unit in the field. So lead on. Okay, I got some... Center at the 
I hear you. Weapon you got. There we go. Yes. Let us test ourselves. Let us test ourselves. Some kind of trolley. It's getting aggressive. Look at that. Let this one see. Got the mines. Hold a moment. Pass the mines. Some sort of sensor is up ahead, beyond the mines. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's what it is. That relay will detect anything that gets too close to it. Only a skilled stealth field operator can get by it safely. But unless all of you can use stealth generators, it will detect your group. Too bad, too. If you got by it undetected, it could make your task much easier. You can, uh... Detonate until we get up close to Making snap. detonation packs is complicated and dangerous. You know, are the only one known. Oh, no, how to use explosives. It looks serviceable, and you didn't blow yourself up. Avoid the mines. If any of the ones close to the sensor are detonated, then we shouldn't even bother. So, how am I supposed to use that? Can he... Guess we'll have to do it this way. The honor is mine. Yes? I don't know if this will do anything, but... The honor is mine. Yep, get it. Just say the word. Ready. The honor is mine. I hear you. Ready. Hell, we made that thing for nothing. Oh well. Gotta go. Ah! 
More where that came from. Lots of enemies here. Intruders, kill them! More where that came from. My life is yours. Ready, the honor is mine. Prepare yourself. <laughs> I'm really doing good enough. A weakness is revealed. Oh, that's all she wrote. A weakness is revealed. This is my first day on Duxon. My predecessor displeased our masters and was dealt with. The fool let Kernox through the perimeter. The Sith don't tolerate any failure. I'm the fifth captain to command this base camp. Wow. The camp sits in the shadow of a tomb. My subordinates say that the body of an ancient warlord named Freedom Nerd lies inside. We don't know why we're here. We sit and make sure that no beasts come into our camp, and especially that they don't reach the tomb itself. A bleak assignment. Signing off. This jungle feels similar to Korriban before it fell after the war. Everyone is on edge. Executions for infractions are commonplace here. Fifty percent more than my previous command. There's a bloodthirstiness to the jungle. The beasts here continually assault our mind perimeter. We've had to replace the minefields four times so far. We received more equipment and more men today. The equipment went straight inside the tomb. As usual, I have no idea what it contained. We're expecting more Sith to arrive any day. They want us to capture one of the beasts for them. No explanation. There never is. Signing off. Interesting. Coded messages from orbit and from Onderon. Some sort of conflict is brewing. I think we have a ship in orbit. We're on full battle alert against what they won't say. A Sith Master said something about a disturbance in the Force. Well, what does that even mean? How do I prepare for that? <sighs> from his tone, the threat is serious. We've put a double shift on monitoring the aerial sensor grid. The only thing that could worry our masters so much has to be a dropship invasion from the Onderon military. We will be prepared. The Sith said soon we'll have reinforcements. When I asked for details, he said it was a surprise. I hate the ones with a sense of humor. Sith jokes are rarely pleasant. Signing off. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I think this video is running a bit long, so we'll save it here. Save the rest of this for next time. If you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit the bell for future notifications. Leave a comment to share with your friends. It all helps me out. I'm uh, currently trying to hit the goal of 500 if you uh, subs. If you could all help me out with that, that'd be great. Again, thank you all for joining me. Have a great day and bye for now.